Hey everybody, this is Trying to Live, and we're playing some Kerbal Space Program today. <gasps> A new version is out. Um, um, um. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, much better. Version 15 is out. Um, obviously that last little bit was just, uh, you know, kind of a joke. I actually didn't know it was out. Um, but, uh, and I've actually been working on helping test it. Um, and so we're going to show you guys some of the cool new things that happen in version 15 because there is a ton of stuff you may or may not be aware of yet. The first off that I'm probably pretty sure you are aware of is now we have a space plane hangar. Um, there's all sorts of new parts here. Um, huge, huge amount of uh, new parts. Oops, click the same thing twice. There we go. Um, and so, uh, nothing yet with this stuff here, but, um, you know, wheels, uh, jet engine parts, wings, um, canards, ailerons, and so forth, all that stuff new. Um, in a second here, I'm actually going to show you guys um, how to make a basic space, a space plane get you guys started. It's not technically a space plane if it doesn't go to, into space. So this will be technically just a jet plane, a basic jet plane. Um, but anyways, there's something also you really need to see, which is amazing. They were a little late coming out with version point 15, and so to say, hey, thanks for being patient and waiting, uh, they gave us uh, something new. This is a new moon called Minmus. It is tiny. It is so small that when you are on the moon, Looking at Minmus, it is exactly one pixel in size. You can't even see it from Kerbin. It is tiny. And there's another weird thing with it. It has a um, six degree off center, uh, off, off, uh, off kilter plane, whatever. It's, it, the, the plane is six degrees different um, from the equator. You can see here with um, the moon, its uh, equator is centered. However, Minmus, let's see if we can actually get in here. It's so small, you can't even see it. Uh, there it is, a little kind of blue-green uh, moon there. Uh, and so it's six degrees off, and so it's a little more difficult to, to get to. And so we're going we're gonna to make a, a, a video specifically devoted to that. Um, and so we're not going to get onto that today. Uh, we're going to work on our space plane, get you guys started on how to do that. Um, so there's there's three new pieces here. They're they're fairly they're all pretty much interchangeable. Um, different weights and things like that. Um, let's see here. All these all have the same weight. I guess they're pretty much the same thing. I guess this one actually weighs more. Um, but the 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 big thing you just need to know is this is kind of the traditional one. It's not really designed for planes. This one here is a little larger. This one's smaller um, and allows for putting pieces on the front and this one is smaller and does not allow for putting pieces on the front. We're going to use a smaller one today. Uh, we got thing. We got this right here. We got our space plane hangar. It's a very busy place. Things just kind of spin around and I don't know where they're going but it looks cool. The doors are open so uh, and our plane is pointing outward. Things look great. Uh, you got a couple buttons up here. Um, this one is our symmetry button. Instead of going between one, two, three, four, six, and eight, it goes uh, one and mirrored. Um, this is way. This way, you have your wings always mirrored. You also have a snap to angles button. Um, this just helps get your pieces in better places. I actually like using snap to angles normally, but it's totally optional. Uh, we've got quite a few tanks here um, and a couple new jet engines. Here's a new rocket engine. Um, it's kind of heavy, but it's more powerful. Um, but it burns fuel pretty quickly. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and make our our engine or uh, our jet right here. Um, there's two uh, things. They look alike. One is actually no fuel, and one actually is fuel. But we're gonna put two of the fueled ones in here. Um, you got two options for jet engines. They basically do the same thing except this one is useless um, at high altitudes whereas this one's pretty good at high altitudes and so it's pretty much the only one worth using. So we'll put that at the end there. Uh, now we're gonna of course need some wings. We're gonna use our symmetry tool. It's gonna mirror things and we're gonna sit this back here and uh, that's gonna work out great. Now if we were to use uh, the no snap to angles it kind of will will go anywhere uh, but if you use snap to angles it'll only kind of stick to certain points and so we're gonna get a nice flat uh, flat wing looks great and uh, let's see here we're gonna put some uh, uh, what do we want 
What do I want? There we go. Command and control. These are uh, control surfaces. This is just uh, when we push up and down, it's going to kind of act as a wing to move up and down, left and right. Um, we're going to go ahead and put these on the back. However, it's going to do kind of something kind of funny where it's sticking, uh, sticking uh, up and down, which is kind of silly. So what we can do is we can actually rotate, flip, and adjust these pieces by using uh, W, S, A, and D and Q and E. They just move just kind of like a plane. Uh, they'll snap 90 degrees. And if you want to reset them, so if I do something like oops, like this, where it's, you know, who knows what's going on there, uh, I just press space and it will reset them. Um, and, but I'm going to go ahead and, let's see here, uh, we're going to get them sideways, and so they're going to actually work properly. They look good. Um, we're gonna also going to put some canards on here. A canard goes on the front. Um, that's, that's something important to know. Uh, they're actually reversed, and so when you want to like when these point up these will actually point down and so they go on the front to help you give a little extra lift uh, and we're going to do something cool here we're going to press shift and then press uh... Oops, that's not what i want i press uh, there we go press a and that's going to ro rotate it by five degrees if you press shift while using the w s a uh, and Q and E keys, it's going to help you rotate, but only in five degree increments. And that's handy because uh, this is just going to give us a little tiny bit of lift, which is going to be very, very helpful. Now, of course, we're going to need some wheels, and so we're going to stick some wheels. We want to put our wheels uh, on the lowest part all the way toward the back. If we move these up too far, what will happen is when we rotate up, uh, we'll scrape our engine on the ground and it will fall off, and that will be bad. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put some, we some wheels on the front. Starting to look good. We've got a ship here. Uh, we won't worry about any rudder. It's not terribly important. Um, we can put rudder on there if you want. What works really well for rudder is um, to use um, this winglet here and just stick it right on the top. And I usually use two just to keep things balanced. <coughs> Excuse me. Got to drink some more tea. Um, and so finally, we're going to do one more thing, which is we're going to add this new avionics, avionics package. It's an SAS unit, but it's a very special one. It's specifically designed for planes. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to keep your plane very level. It's going to keep you from being able, it's going to let you turn your plane, but it's not going to let you turn your plane so much that you can um, stall it out, flip it out. Um, planes are very, very tricky kind of things. So we're going to go ahead and launch. Of course, the uh, tutorial thing is going to pop up here. I haven't actually uh, flown a plane on the proper version 15, so we'll see how that works out for us. Um, one thing you're going to notice is that you're kind of rolling forward already. Um, the, the button B, that's actually our brake, and so it <laughs> uh, stopped our vehicle. So that's important to use. Uh, G will move our, our, uh, our uh, landing gear up and down. We're not going to use that just yet. Um, because, well, we're on the ground. Um, and we're going to go ahead and um, let's see here, a couple other things. Oh, you can you can right-click on parts now. So here's the atmospheric engine. Um, certain parts can be right-clicked on and certain parts cannot. So decouplers can, um, landing gear can, uh, different things like that work out pretty good. Um, go ahead and hit the brakes. Um, and this is important because you need to know some of the efficiency, the airflow, uh, things like that. Those are all pretty important to know about in the engines. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and press space. We're going to throttle this guy up. We're going to press T, turn our SAS on, try to keep our, our ship pointing down. We're going to look at our airflow, make sure things are going. Our, our intake is going to throttle uh, the amount or reduce the amount of air if it gets too crazy. Um, and we're going to go ahead and see how we're doing. Everything looks great. And uh, we're getting to their speed up. We're going to get to the end of the runway. It's time to lift our ship up. You can see these are kind of pointing down. And these are pointing up. Our canards are working opposite. And uh, our ship is, is taking off. Our space plane is taking off. And now it's one thing that's important to note is depending on which engine you're using, they have different ceiling heights. Um, ceiling meaning if you go higher than this, the engine doesn't get enough air in, um, and so it actually starts to lose power, and you'll fall out of the sky. Um, additionally, not only will your engine not work, um, but your control surfaces won't work because you won't have enough air. And control surfaces, I mean the wings, won't generate any lift. You'll basically fall right out of the sky. Um, and you can see here that our SAS is, is sort of fighting against us. The pitch is it's not letting us pitch all the way down. And the reason why it's doing that is, let me go ahead and turn the SAS off. And this, this plane is pretty good. But if we go a little crazy, uh, I, I don't know if this, this design here is pretty stable. But if you go a little crazy, uh, sometimes, whoa, we just ripped the engine right off there. That's bad. Um, sometimes you get a little crazy. You'll actually lose control of your ship, or your plane, and you're trying to get it back. Here's here's pretty bad. And so it just it doesn't quite 
want to fly straight and you lose control, um, but you can turn that SAS on and it's going to boom. It's going to point you right in the right direction, keep you going, get you going good. Uh, I didn't even turn my landing gear on. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're not going to, I don't think we're going to make it back in time. Oh man, I am not flying well either. It's all right. You're only on YouTube. Only only a couple dozen people are going to see this. It's not a big deal. It's not not going to be on the internet for long ever. Uh, so anyways, we're going to see if we can ditch in the ocean, do a nice safe thing. We're going to try to lift this thing up. Uh, there we go. I turn my I turn the SAS off sometimes to get an additional um, amount of um, control. Sometimes I'll leave the SAS on and hit F. Um, but this SAS is very different. It's not the other two SAS's is saying this is a heading that I want to keep. Please keep me at this heading. The um, this SAS is like, hey, please keep me under control. And so that's that's the way to think about it. It makes it, it makes it pretty good. We might actually. I don't know if we've got enough speed and uh, and altitude to make it back. Um, important thing to note is that the uh, the runway, when you're on the runway, this will say 66 meters. And so when you're when you're at 66 meters, um, you're you're landing safely. Um, and so this this is this is a really fun mod. There's lots of cool things you can do. You can make a SR-71 Blackbird. You know that really fast. Uh, uh, High flying plane. The physics on the engines are pretty good. Um, I have I have my uh, debates on the engines sometimes, um, but that's okay. A um, couple things. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about trim. So here's a cool thing you can do. So I don't know if you know what trim is, but sometimes your pl you'll find that your plane likes to go down or goes up, likes to go up a little bit. And what you can do is press Alt and then press up. And what it's going to do is it's going to say, hey. I want you to always turn the control surfaces up just a tiny little bit or down a little tiny bit. And it helps you keep your plane flying straight, especially if you notice, okay, the plane keeps going down, plane keeps going down, you can press Alt and S, S, you know, aileron up, or elevator up, and it'll it'll kind of pull your elevators up and make things pretty cool. And it looks like we might actually make it back to our runway in, intact. Um, a lot of the physics and Pretty much everything related to space planes, I will let you guys know, in this version will be changed in the next version. There's actually code already written, from as what I understand, um, that will actually be replacing everything. The atmosphere, how the engines work, how wings work, literally everything will be replaced. However, um, this is a good preview of how things will end up looking, um, and so we'll uh, one of the issues is that wings generate too much lift compared to their drag. Um, I think I think the term is induced drag, um, and I don't think that they produce enough induced drag. Uh, turn our landing gear on. Everything looks good. Let's see. Let's see if we can safely land this plane. All right, looking good. Got to turn this way. Wow, too much. <laughs> it's a very oh I know what else is important I used like uh, turning on precision controls oh that's the wrong thing oh I pushed down instead of up you can see the wings kind of fly off there's a wing just sailing away and so um, the wings themselves are a little overpowered that's all right we crashed um, you you saw how that works I pressed caps lock and then when I meant to push S I pushed W and that flew this in the ground but that's all right um, um, and so that so basically everything you you see in this um, will be replaced in the future however um, it's still a really fun thing um, and so this is a kind of a preview of version 15 which is uh, out now download it enjoy it um, and we're gonna we're gonna review space planes we're gonna do more things with space planes in the future we're gonna do more things um, with Minmus we're gonna do things with um, we're actually gonna make space rockets we're gonna do all sorts of cool stuff taking advantage and showing you guys how to use the cool new features in version 15 um, but right now, if you haven't downloaded it, download it now. If you haven't bought it, I already warned you to buy it ahead of time. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in some new, cool, exciting uh, version 15 videos uh, in the future. Hey, thanks, guys. Bye.